Hey guys, it's Music by Lucas, and the first thing I want to do in today's video is congratulate James Trainer. He's the winner of the Song of the Week 61 with his epic disco-infused track, Time. Also, because I got a lot of comments asking for it, definitely going to be posting a full feedback video soon. So if you want to get in the feedback videos, all you have to do is just make sure that you submit for Song of the Week because I pick tracks randomly from the submission list to talk about on the feedback video. Also, I'm super pumped because we hit our first Patreon goal, which means I'm going to be giving away a MIDI keyboard so stay tuned, at the end of the video, I'll be showing you how you can get involved. So this video is a long time coming, so many votes for this guy, super excited to be talking today about Oliver Heldens. Oliver Heldens. All right guys, so we have had Mike Williams, Mesto, Kirby, Don Diablo, all of them have watched their video because of you guys, so let's try to see if we can get the Oliver Heldens to watch his video today. How did we do it last time? Well, you guys know the drill. All we have to do, tag Oliver Heldens on your Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, use these links right here, and hopefully we'll get him to watch. All right, guys, so let's get to it. Let's talk about three things that make Oliver Heldens so amazing. The first reason why Oliver Heldens is so amazing is because of his huge hit, Gecko. Now, obviously, Oliver Heldens has a lot more hits than Gecko, but it was this song that put him on the map, so let's examine why. First off, the track was totally unique at the time of its release. So unique, in fact, that it got the attention of Tiesto, who signed the track to his label, Musical Freedom. Multiple artists, including Kirby and Mesto, have said that out of all the available EDM tracks at the time, it was this track, Gecko, that inspired them to start creating EDM music seriously. That is a huge deal. I mean, they're huge now, and this inspired them to get there. That's crazy. When Oliver Heldens was asked about the track in an interview, he said that the project file itself was rather simple, and it was really the melody and the groove that made it special. To make the track, Oliver Heldens says that he used Fruity Loops as his DAW, the lead synth he used Massive, the bass he used Silent, for a lot of the other sounds on the track he used Nexus. So I think one thing here to talk about that's rather important is how one track can change your entire career as a musician. So the question is, how do you find and then ultimately produce that hit track? Now, of course, there's no one right way to do it, no magical formula, because music is not a get-rich-quick scheme. Now, when Oliver Heldens got asked how he made such a big track, he said his best advice to new producers was to make music that made them happy. Now, this may sound silly, but people forget that music is supposed to make you happy. Now, before you start commenting saying that music doesn't have to sound happy to be big, that's not what I'm saying. I'm talking about something that makes you happy to make, not something that has to sound happy or uplifting. It just needs to make you smile when you press play because it's so sick. Basically, if the track makes you start jumping up and down, envisioning yourself at EDC, and texting updates to your friends, telling them you wrote the most epic track ever, then you're probably on the right track. And a piece of advice from me is that if you get stuck and you start having writer's block, take a break. I know that you want to power through it and you just want to keep producing until you get it perfect, but for me, when I have something like that, I typically try to take a walk around town or going to one of my favorite places or just relaxing for a little bit. I can get re-energized and come back to the studio and make something a lot faster and with a lot more precision than I would have if I just would have tried to power through it. So if you can find a way or a place to go to help you clear your mind, definitely try it. When you get back into the studio, you might find yourself with a whole bunch of new energy and the music might just start flowing out of you in a way that it didn't before. The second thing that makes Oliver Heldens so amazing is that he releases music on multiple labels. The reason why this is such a great idea is because different labels have different fan bases, have different email lists, have different artists you can collab with, which will open different doors for your career. Now, this is the reason I've made Team MBL a non-exclusive label, because I don't want to tie down artists just to us because it just seems kind of silly. Now, Team MBL is also a free download label because I personally believe in breaking down any barrier that gets in the way of the listener listening to the music. I am also personally not a fan of download gates. If they make you sign up for the gate making company before you get to download the music. Now this creates another barrier which deters people from wanting to download your music because they don't want to have to provide their personal info to a third party site in order to get it. If you're an up and coming artist, music isn't really the thing that is going to make you the most money, but it could be the thing that brings other stuff to the table which will make you money. Most artists make their money on live performances, merchandise, and sponsorships. Now those all wouldn't exist if the music didn't bring them to the table in the first place. So basically what I'm saying is working with multiple labels and trying to find other ways to make it so the listener can get the music easier are definitely ways to help you grow your fan base faster. The third reason why Oliver Heldens is so amazing is because he's an inspiration and a mentor. When I ask people who their mentors are, 
Oliver Heldens comes up almost every time. Now being a mentor is an amazing thing because it makes people feel connected to you on a whole nother level. So the best way to become a mentor is to get people so excited about what you do that they want to do it too. So if you can engage with your audience and get them to start talking, you'll find that the conversation you start only continues to grow louder. Now, it all starts with the music, of course, but it also leads into the passion you put behind your entire brand. Mentors typically have such a good brand that people want to emulate them. So the question is, is your brand ready? Well, to test this, let's just imagine that your track is just now being played on Hell Deep Radio. And of course, all these people are hearing it and they all go rush to your SoundCloud to go check you out. Do you think that your brand image will be ready for those people when they show up? Does your SoundCloud look like something that would grab people's attention and make them want to stick around for more? If not, then it may be time for you to spend a few extra minutes, just make sure that everything's looking good, you got all your links in line, you got all your branding going right, and make sure that you have a few extra awesome tracks for your future fans to listen to. Now, if you ask Oliver Heldens why he's so inspirational, he'd probably just laugh and say that he doesn't even try to be. But if you really look at all the time and the passion and the energy that he puts into his music and his label, and into helping all the other artists on his Helldeep radio show, you would just have to say that that guy is an amazing inspiration. All right, so that's it for Oliver Heldens, so make sure to tell me who you want to hear about next. Leave a comment below, and I'll be sure to check it out. Also, as I said before, we hit our first goal on Patreon, which means I'm going to be giving away a MIDI keyboard to one of my Patreon supporters. And as long as you join the Patreon team by January 1st, even if you can only support with $1, you will be entered to win the MIDI keyboard. Also, of course, there's tons of other rewards on there too. A huge shout out to my new epic Patreon supporter, Sam Kim. Sam, you're awesome. Definitely gonna be chatting with you on Skype soon. All right, guys, I'm Music by Lucas, and I'll see you later. <laughs>